Welcome to my channel. Today, I will tell you when I was appointed chief and warrior of the Buga Buga tribe in Papua New Guinea. My name is Ulf and I have the privilege to be captain on ships and yachts, often in very remote places, which I now would like to share with you. If you like this, then just click subscribe. And also, don't hesitate to share it if you think that someone else will enjoy this. Today, I would like to take you on board the medical supply ship Ruwak in Papua New Guinea. A ship providing medical teams, training and equipment to the most remote places and tribes in the Solomon Sea. Please stand by at the Papua New Guinea, the second largest island in the world after Greenland, is indeed a fascinating piece of land. Here you will find not only numerous unique animals, birds and insects, but also 800 languages, not dialects. Languages representing 40% of all the languages on this planet. How come, you might ask? On an island which we in the West thought was to a large extent unpopulated up to the 1950s. The same decade, by the way, when the last missionary was said to be eaten up by the cannibals on the island. The answer is that the tribes had been living so remotely from each other and been so difficult to reach that there has been no communication between them all the time. And when they have encountered each other, it has not always ended well. History points to repeating conflicts between neighboring tribes because of disputes relating to land, pigs and women. In that order, actually. As a captain on Ruwak, I did also represent the ship owners and the medical supply organization YWAM at the opening of a new hospital project in Rabaraba in the Middle province. Something which was appreciated to the extent that the Buga Buga tribe in Rabaraba decided to honor the captain of Ruwak with the title Chief and Warrior of the Tribe. Captain Ulf Strong. A prestigious honor indeed. In the next video, I will, as a contrast, share with you an Arctic experience on board the expedition yacht Togo. Encountering both whales, orcas and ice bears, only 20 land miles from the North Pole. So, stay tuned.